interested to know sort of what's going on here. Sure, we can tell you. Okay. Yeah, my name is Zach. Are you here today going into Acacia no. Women's Center? Okay. I just passed by and saw sort of the signs which yeah. struck me. Yeah, yeah, they do that. And honestly, we we hate the fact that we have to hold them. I, I hate okay. I hate the sign. Honestly, I wish I wish that we didn't have to. What but I saw was murderer. Yeah. Okay, so that struck me. So what's going on here? Yeah, well, this place, Acacia okay. Women's Center, I don't know if you know anything about them, but they are an I abortion don't. clinic. Okay. And so what they do in this place is they, they take little children in their mother's womb and they, they tear okay. them apart okay. and they poison them chemically. So what we're trying to do, we're Christians. We come out I'm here every Christian week. as well. Great. We, we come out here every week and we try to offer the moms and the dads and the families that go into this place resources, help. To not do that. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So we try to give them tangible things, practical things to help them, but we also want to be faithful to God and His Word and tell them what okay. He says about this and give them the hope of the gospel ultimately. Right. So it's the gospel and help all in one. So the signs just kind of aid us to tell people, both them well, and the public, what's going on. It definitely strikes your attention. I mean, driving by, I saw murder. I'm like, what the? Yeah. So I turned around and came back to kind of find out what's going on here. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the signs basically just try to aid us to communicate the message of how God feels about this particular sin and so okay. our hope is that we can catch women going inside talk to them and no, help I'm them and the well, I'm glad I think I'm fertile so. <laughs> well I'm, I'm glad that you're not going in there no I am but no I my, my name is Zach that's my sister Sherry over there hi Sherry yeah and this is Gabe and honestly we just hi, we, we record these things too because we want other Christians to see and be encouraged that this kind of thing is is, is possible to do to help women to help them rescue their children Absolutely. I actually if you let me, I actually have a, um, a picture here I can show you of a young uh, family that uh, we made contact with outside of a Planned Parenthood in Tempe. Mm -hmm. And they have, um, they, were, they were pregnant with their, their fifth baby girl. And so they were considering getting the abortion and we were outside actually speaking to them, calling out, kind of like we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. and, and then they, they didn't. They came out, we actually helped them, and this is the baby girl. Her name is Atlas. I was able to hold her in my arms when she was born. So this is this, this is why we're out here, yeah. honestly, is to, is to help moms. Of course, we, we don't want to abuse people. We don't want to, um, you know, mistreat them. We don't come out here motivated by hatred or, or anything no, like that. It's love that compels us to be here. So. We just, we know what this brings. It brings destruction on these women and especially on their children. Yeah, so. and I'm not a mother. I don't have children. I have a nephew, he's enough. <laughs> yeah, so. oh, they're a handful. I have, I have, yeah. two, I have two myself. Oh, I have a little boy and a little girl, <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, I passed it off to the mother and I'm good. But no, I didn't pull, I pulled in just because the signs were striking to me. Yeah, yeah, and, and honestly, honestly, they, they make me honestly ill sometimes to look at. So it's not that we enjoy displaying them. It's right. just that they they the communicate purpose. the yes. reality. Because if we're driving... That's why I just stopped. I right. mean, I pulled around. I'm like, murderer, what the hell is that? Pardon my language. But, you yeah. know, I'm like, what's going on over there? Yeah. You know, I want to know what this is all about. Sometimes a helpful picture is, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're driving through the city of Phoenix and you see the tobacco ad. And yeah. you see what it does to a person's mouth, well, chewing yeah. tobacco. And we say, and well, that's smoker, so. right. We say, that's really disgusting. Why would someone show that? Well, it displays or, the reality of like, what happens when you chew tobacco. The epidemic of like meth. Right. And they show those picked apart. And that's the reality of it. That Amen. You have to just throw it in people's faces for them to realize what's really going on. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's, that's, yeah. you, you summarized it much better than I could. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we do it. Slow it is. Down. Speeding. Yeah. Another one. I'm like, people slow down. Yeah. It is for that, you know, to be eye catching, to communicate to the surrounding community what well, goes on at this place. That. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it certainly does. That gets your attention. Yeah. People don't pay attention to anything. They're doing this. Right. The social media crap, you know, right. to capture with a sign like that, like that captured me. So yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Really. And no, I was not pulling to this clinic to do 
I circled around because I saw the sign and it captured me. Yeah. Like, I want to know. Yeah. I want to be informed of yeah. what's well, going on. Well, that's why we come. And, and what you saw, I think, I think you saw that sign that says murder over there. Yes. All it basically has on it is you shall not murder. And that's what God says in his word. So we're, we're just here to tell people what he says in hopes well, that, that they turn away. all I saw as they drove by in Granted, I'm freezing. It's cold this morning. Are you guys yeah. cold? Oh, we're okay. Yeah, we're all right. Yeah. But that captured me. Yeah. And I was like, what is this all about? Like, let me circle back around, be more informed, and understand what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's why we come here, is to try to, to rescue children and, and proclaim the, the good news to these women. So um, can I give you something maybe to, to take Absolutely. with you? Absolutely. I have, um, let me see. Um, sure, yeah. So these are just a couple things that we give. Uh, nope, I got it all. Okay. In the, in the Lord. In the Lord. In the Lord. Not actually flesh and blood, right. brothers and sisters. Oh. In the Lord, yeah. But adopted into the family of God together. So this is what we usually give to the women that come in here. It's just a life in the womb National Geographic that okay. shows, you know, images inside there. That's a gospel tract. And then this is just something that we give to, to anyone, really, Gosh. that we pass along the street. So, so yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Just a simple message that communicates what happens at this place, unfortunately. So when women do come in to this institution and you give them this, yeah. how do they feel about that? Well, we try to give them this too. This is just a list of different uh, clinics and places I mean, that are in the area. that's quite a statement. Yeah, yeah. Our hope, if I can be honest with you, mm -hmm. is to act on honesty is the best policy right it's to it's to act on what they're already feeling mm -hmm. because so many women come in here already convicted already having that sense of of heaviness Just, right that what they're doing because i mean we all know it's a baby we know pregnancy means child so i mean we know <laughs> I, don't have children. I mean i mean we know i try to sympathize or empathize yeah i mean we know from obviously the scriptures but also biological evidence testifies to the fact that from the moment of conception life is there it's ir it's irrefutable, right? There's right. there's nothing that can come against that. Right. So that message just is a simple way to say this is happening here and to remind them that if you are going through with this today, then that becomes you and we don't want that. I don't want that for you. Right. I don't want you ultimately because this is what I tell it's every regret. woman. It's the regret in the end. That, but it goes deeper than that too. It mm -hmm. goes deeper than just personal regret. It goes, I don't know, if you've heard this message before, but the gospel of Jesus is about God's holiness. It's about our sin and mm -hmm. the fact that we're all going to stand before him one day and give an account of our lives. Seven and when that, least. and when that woman stands before God, I don't want her to stand before him as a murderer. I want her to stand before him wow. as someone that knows Jesus, that's been forgiven, mm -hmm. that turns from their sin to come and know that God. That's, that's what Christmas is all about, right? That's what Jesus, coming into the world as a baby. Okay. <laughs> so, so that provides me the template to have that conversation and mm -hmm. just say, this is what God says about it. It's a violation of his law. But guess what? He forgives murderers. He forgives drunkards. He forgives thieves. If he forgives you adulterers. In Christianity, that's the thing. Irrelevant. I don't think it's irrelevant though. The, the fact that if someone doesn't believe in it, that doesn't make it true? No, 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 no. I'm just saying people in their head, if they're not Christians, if they're of another, yeah. you it's know, another belief system. Re religion, right. then they don't buy into that. Yeah. So. And fortunately, this is an important thing to bring up because mm -hmm. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. So Jesus said that he was the only way to God. Mm -hmm. That's either true or it isn't. So even if, true to me. even if someone says, well, that might be true for you, but that's not true for me. Unfortunately, the son of God doesn't leave us room for that to be the case. It's either true or it isn't. So it's what we do with that truth that ultimately decides, um, you know, what's going to happen. 
So, and that's, that's the message of love, hopefully, that I can communicate. It would be hatred for me not to come out here and tell people about it. Right. Right? I would have to hate these women. I would have to hate Am these I people. Being and you. Know, we usually just video the interactions that we have from the, okay. the preaching that we do. And what, what we're trying to do with that is, like I said, I think I started to communicate too. Forgive me if I went off on a completely Gosh. different yeah. tangent. Um, we try to demonstrate that just what goes on out here. Well, I mean, there, you're there's impacting the community. That you're and we want to that and we want to encourage other Christian churches that they can help these women. So that's that's and what we want to do. Why is this your utmost importance, sort of, with mm. the abortion issue? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. I I would say, ultimately, in God's eyes, it's not just about this one thing. It's not just about abortion. God commands us to live a holy life, and that encompasses all the sins that we've committed. We have to turn from a whole life of sin. But to answer your question, why abortion? 60 million children have been murdered since Roe v. Wade. That was the court decision that led to the supposed legalization of abortion. And so in our nation, there's about 3,000 children every day that get murdered, which is about 9-11 every single day. So that's why it matters. We live in a city where this is kind of happening right across the street from where we live. There's Absolutely. people living there. And let me give you two sort of stances on this. Number one, I'm for abortion because that's a woman's choice. Should it be rape, you know, something that would be. Number two, I don't have children and I can't have children. So, so you would say, and I would agree with you because I'm sure I know what you're going to say. You're, you're fundamentally against rape. Absolutely. Okay, so if I were to ask you as a Christian, and I'm agreeing with you, I, I think it's absolutely detestable, and I think it's horrible, and I think any man that does that should be put to death because that's God's standard. Now, if I, if I were to ask you, why? Why is rape wrong? Why does it detest? I mean, why does it make us ill to think about? Why is it wrong? Because it's a violation of someone's rights. Mm. A, a violation of someone's rights, their body. Yes. Right? You're, you're doing things with someone's body that you shouldn't be doing. No. Now I, want, I, mean, you, now I want you to think about, okay, I want you to think about one thing. That's what's happening in there with abortion. There's a little girl in the womb, a little woman, who's having her rights and her body violated by someone else. So if we're going to say, I'm against rape, we should turn around and also say, I'm against what's happening to these little women in there that are having their bodies violated in the womb. Okay. You see that? So we should condemn both equally because they're both violations of people's bodies. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's, that's the point. So, so when someone says, I'm for it, it should be a woman's right to choose. In order for that to be true, we would have to deny the little woman in the womb her choice. Gosh, I guess there's so many ways to look at it. Well, our position, obviously, is that there would be God's way, and that is He's not giving people a choice to say, you know what, if you want to kill your baby, go ahead. He's saying, don't murder your baby. Protect your child. Love your baby. And of course, there's always a circumstance, right? Maybe someone doesn't have money. Maybe someone has four kids already. Just like the picture I showed you, that family had four children already. Maybe, maybe there is a genuine aspect of the woman was violated and what resulted from that was a child. But, but that does not justify the murder of these children. Child. It doesn't. And that's, that's why it's so important why we come to to offer help and support. Because we say to these women, you know something? No matter what happened to you, even if you are, you and your, you are in yourself right now in a fearful position, you know, someone's pressuring you, it doesn't matter what it is, we'll help you. We'll support you. We'll walk through this pregnancy with you. You know, we'll, we'll shower you with, with diapers, with formula. Um, practical things, a place to stay, really? any of that stuff, we want to give that to you. Just don't murder your baby. Don't do it. Let us help you. And there's the love. hope. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the message. That is the message. And unfortunately, a lot, of, a lot of people, especially a lot of Christians, 
they haven't taken that step yet mm -hmm. to actually come to these places. But we don't want to abuse them because they aren't. We want to lovingly say, come with us. Are you come with us. married? I am. Yes. Children? Yeah, I have I have a little boy who is just turned two in July and then a baby girl who's eight months. In July, what what day? July eleventh. Oh, so he's a cancer. She. Uh, he, yeah. Yeah. He. Ezekiel. Yeah. Ezekiel's his name. I'm a Leo, July twenty fourth. So. Okay. Stubborn and curious and everything else. Well, you know something, I appreciate your questions. I appreciate the way that you walked over here. Yeah. Because so many times, I mean, we have people come and scream at us and throw things at us. Well, that's and it just, unnecessary, right. number one. Well, we, we consider it a, a joy to suffer for the Lord. We know it's going to come. Unfortunately, that's the nature of how sensitive this is. Mm -hmm. But we, very we, sensitive but we cannot just... But that's what, why I stopped. I'm like, I'm very curious. I have a curious my curiosity killer cat. Right, right. <laughs> but yeah. That will be me one day. But, yeah. You know, I just was curious. I'm like, what's... I heard or saw a murder. And I'm like, what the... Flipped around, came back in the freezing cold of Arizona. Right. Yeah, this is freezing cold to us, right? That live here. God, don't yeah. pick us up. Yeah. So he's gonna recycle us. So no, I, I thank you for coming over. I, I appreciate your questions, and honestly, I would be remiss if I didn't tell you, obviously, what's in there too, in terms of the the good news, and that yeah. is that. And I will certainly look at this. Yeah, and that's the, this is the nature of of this time of year, is that God has come in the flesh in Jesus, and if we turn from our sin to God in the flesh, we can be forgiven, and that's what I want for you and everyone. So. Are you able to hug? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for coming over here and Absolutely. just talking with us. Thank you. And what was your name again? Nicole. Nicole. Zach. Nice to meet you, Nicole. Take care.